True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> the boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. <laughs> Son. They really speak their truth. What the hell was that? <laughs> year, year, year. <laughs> what to do? What the business is? What is good? It's your boy. No, no, sorry. It's father, your boy. And we are back in the building again, bringing the barbershop to the box office. I have some people here with me. Man, shut that shit up. Because if I when God strikes faith. you, I don't want to be nowhere near your ass. And what we you have doing right our now Christian is a brethren, St. Germain. Is it Jermaine? Oh, God. We oh, have God. our Christian brother here. And we all know that Jesus wears the crown. Royal. His royal crown. This. We have Deacon Jameson. Hello, Deacon. Good to meet you here. And we have our favorite apostles, Paul and John. Yes, we are gathered here today, brethren, to bring you the True View podcast. The fires of 10,000 suns will engulf your soul in the afternoon. Oh, really? Bring it you on. Will, <laughs> you bring it will on. suffer for this ready. blaspheme. The, the level... Um, this nigga just got like a tub of props just like, <laughs> what a glove come from man <laughs> we are ready what is this loose leaf paper that you got as a collar my guy like this is just out of pocket do Take not spike me. off your neck like do not spike me forgive him father Mike, for he know Mike, not what did he do with it this Mike, I feel like you don't listen to nobody but you. Can you please forgive him, Father? Please, bro, because I don't want to go to hell. And like, yeah, too brute. I don't know if like lightning strikes all four of us at the same time, or can we just mindset, focus in Jay. on it? It's a state now, of mind. Jay. Now, Paul Caesar. Wait, no, that's the wrong wrong, wrong movie. Wrong, yeah, <laughs> like so, that's paganism, bro. You're going off. You're going off in Roman camp. No, no, no. All right, no. I'm Jay. I'm here trying not to go to hell. <laughs> Let's get it popping, people. <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> well, not Jesus fuck. Like, Paul oh, damn. Yeah, all that shit. Like, What's good, people? <laughs> Boys, yo. We back in the building for another one. Y'all here with us on this one. Hmm. We about to get into it. Yes. So you ain't got Jack and Jimmy, no Johnny over there. What's going on? Well, no, they they are counting the tides and the offerings in the back. That's the three wise men, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Jack, in the back, counting count the tides yeah. and offerings. Uh, oh, and then the Lord. Spanish version, yeah, front of scam over there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I am grown man MJ, and somebody once told me I was bad advertising. Imagine that. Uh, but I love everybody, <laughs> and let's get to it. I, somebody, what? <laughs> well, you're in a, I, I'm, I'm, <coughs> all right. <clears throat> this week on the True View podcast, we are reviewing Father Stu. Now, uh, Father Stu is currently in, in theaters. I really Sorry. wish you would stop doing that. Okay. I really, like, I really don't want to, I really want that to end. Um, no, you, you far- gotta do it for Jay. You gotta do it, y'all, 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 <laughs> y'all, 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 that yah 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 shit was on point. It's like you get the rhythm and everything. Like you feel the rhythm, feel the vibe, bro. Like I almost, I almost finished it. Sweet, so we all need to be All right. Anyway, when an injury, no one wanna fuck with us. 
ashes to ashes. Dust ashes to, dust to ashes. To ashes All, right, dust dust. All right. Um, let's get this bobbing. All right. So when an injury ends his amateur boxing career, Stuart Long pause moves to Los Angeles to find him find money and fame while scraping it by PS that producer was out of pocket while scraping by as a supermarket clerk he meets Carmen Carmen a Sunday school oh a Sunday school teacher a Sunday school teacher who seems mm -hmm. immune to his bad boy charm determined to win her win her over mm. the longtime agnostic starts Starts going to church to impress her. However, a motorcycle accident leaves him wondering if he can be he can use his Come second on. chance out. He can second be chance. Used. If he can use his second chance to help <laughs> others, leading Come on. leading to this. Come on. Almost Would you shut the fuck up? Leading to the surprising oh, realization that he's <laughs> meant to be a Catholic priest. Okay. So long story short, homie got into a like homie went into the church following the poem. Then the poem turned into like some magical shit after he hit, and then he got thrown off of a fucking bike. And then he said, "All right, God, I heard you. I'm gonna come hit the plan." Yeah, that nigga hit. That man went back and was like, "Yo, I was asking for this forever." P.S. He he turned into Usher. These are my confessions. Oh yeah, right, right, right. right. <laughs> I was like, yo, am I bugged out? Because when she said, let me take your mind off of it, I yeah. immediately started thinking, like, so she going to do anal or a blowjob? Like, because I know how them Catholic girl used to roll back in the day. So I'm just trying to put my mindset in that time. You know what I'm saying? I thought she about to make you goofy, sir. I'm just saying. Like, she said, I know what I'm doing. So it's like, yo, <laughs> wait, is my leg going up behind the back? Like, what are we doing here? Like, are we just, am I putting it on top? Okay, my bad. All right, so. Yeah. It's a, it's a few short buses in there. A lot show. of them. A lot of them. A lot and of I them. just want to bring this one up early because I know it's probably been overlooked and it's not that big of a deal. But he got out of boxing. Because he had a reaction to his injuries, mm -hmm. but then he got into several other injuries after that, and the was it condition several? never returned. You know what I'm saying? It might had a motorcycle accident after that. What are you talking about? The condition was that his well, injuries were taking too long to heal, and so it was, oh, was causing it? him to have yeah, like but an this infection. Mug woke up out of a Man, this mug woke up out of coma when the Bible the hit The poon will bro. do that to you, bro. But the poon will do that to you. He heard that sweet, like didn't he get run over by a car? And that's, what? He got ran over by a car. Both again, wheels again. Both the, wheels. Ba -boom, ba -boom. The power of the pussy, my G. Like I'm telling you, a good woman is different on another level, my guy. Focus. All right. That is that. That was God talking through the vagina, like. That's what happened in that situation. Well, he so, hadn't even got to show was in the juices yet, Jay. He ain't the vaginal the fluids. Were, he was bathed in the vaginal fluids, Mike. That's why he survived. No, he, he wasn't. Was, I'm Mike, trying to tell you, not yet, Mike, and not at this time. Mike, he was Mike, baptized in the waters of Lake You've had a few of them, like you know, you oh. you've had a few tacos in your life. I know you've had a few tacos, my guy. Yeah, you got shit to do with nothing. But that's a different level of juices. They just flow. You know what I'm saying? Oh. No, none of them, none of my tacos had had wings on the side. So my shit had that spicy sauce on that shit. Shit. <laughs> the spicy yeah. sauce. You better go get that shit checked. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, I, you got to see it through, my boy. Um, so oh, <laughs> listen no, to me. No, to me. no. <laughs> We're gonna be all over the place. That's a short bus, but the first one I point I want to point out. Y'all ever been to a Catholic church that was an hour long? I ain't yeah. never seen that shit. Oh, an hour ever long. An hour, never I thought, Yeah, I thought <laughs> that shit was real quick and scheduled. They was always well, they coming from coming from a Baptist background, Catholic church always seemed faster than our shit, though. No, that was well, yeah, Lutheran from a Baptist, always faster. I, I, faster. I went to I went to a Catholic elementary school, man. Yeah, I did I did too. Well. And them goddamn shits for school, bro, it was long as hell. Oh, like, hey, class, is, it's different because y'all in school during the middle of the week, you throw your shit off. So the time is just be. No, no, you had a mandatory. You know, I was seeing like three in the middle you of the week. You still had to show. Up yeah, we had a mandatory Sunday every third uh, week I had, of the month or something like that. But yeah, it wasn't It wasn't that it was a schedule, but you had like an amount of time that you would go and the pastor would like check the list for us. Man, like so you, you had to pay more. Wow, huh? You had to check it. Yeah, yeah. 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 
I will they say colonized for a good little while, huh? Yeah, but I will you know say I'm not touching that because I'm already is, sounding like a sellout. So I'm not. They didn't that. really. They didn't really uh, uh, highlight how the Catholics are always getting you ready for cardio because they ring that bell, you got to kneel. They ring that bell, you got to sit. They ring that don't, bell. Don't do that, bro. Man. Don't do that because the ring Baptist that bell. Oh don't yeah, do no. That, no, no. The Baptist Church getting you ready for basketball. A lot of jump. A lot of jumping. A lot of jump. Like no. I see backflips. <clears throat> I need y'all to stand and repeat. <clears throat> I need y'all to talk. Turn Touch. to your neighbor. Touch Seventeen. Mother man, that motherfucking Baptist Church, bro. I had to leave, bro. I had no, to I'm gonna tell y'all what that's, that's really it. for, though. I'm gonna tell y'all what that's really for. Go ahead. They really, they, they really just trying to. They they really just trying to gather their thoughts because they done fell off from their notes. They didn't got no. Distracted. What they need to do is send a nigga a check if I'm saying part the sermon. That's what they need to do. <laughs> All right. They need to be spreading these ties if I'm in here saying damn near, you know what I'm saying, uh, two paragraphs out your sermon to my neighbor. You see what I'm saying? Damn, man. <laughs> Mike, like, give me my cup, man. <laughs> Give me the loop. Give me the loop. Give me the loop. <laughs> run, run your pockets, son. Um, no. <laughs> uh, no. What uh, what other shortcomings again? Because yeah, that was mine. They didn't really highlight the. Uh... Well, let's, let's get into it, bro. I I really had a loss of time for this. Like I don't I don't know what years we was in. I don't know how old this mug was during the movie at no time. Uh, the aging process. They went back no and sense. forth and stuff like that. I like, felt like you blinked at all. It was the retarded. aging process. It don't feel like I got 10 years of this man life or five years of this man life. I don't know how long it was. It just. So I think the plan was to have the aging be seen through the effects of his condition. But that was such like a blink of an eye type of situation that we didn't actually take that journey with him. And for the movie to be two hours plus long, I was like, I feel like a lot of this shit could have just been explained. Because, yeah, we get it. He's a gangster. He talks, like, different, right? Or a gangster by that term. So he doesn't, like, talk in the, in the you know, the proper sense of the, the church. So it's hard, it's hard to explain it. So you want to, like, get that across to the audience. But at the other side of it, it's this illness that I feel like took over his life. And so I would have rather, much rather a lot more time be devoted so you could see that. So you can see the agent, not only the aging process, you get a timeline of things properly and you see the effects of the disease. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like I it was kind of like, like you popped up and the homie was like. I felt like on. they spent too much time getting into him uh, wanting to be a preacher versus the time that he spent <laughs> being a, a, a priest or whatever. Right. Or the after effects of that shit. Um, I didn't actually, like, there weren't, outside of the jokes of, like, you know, ain't no way in hell, I'm, like, I don't think I've, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, no, that's not for me, but outside yeah, of that. We know that ain't for you. Yeah, yeah no, I don't no, know. Like, Shorty, that like, did you see, that? did you see Shorty? Did you see Shorty? Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm marrying her. Outside of that, I felt, I, what I enjoyed was the fact that they showed the challenges like the challenging of the hypocrisy of, of the church, right? It's like, first, I'm too meek to represent you. Like, first, I'm the wrong kind, right? I'm the person that you try to convert or change or you show that, like, what's more proof that there's God than somebody willing up to willing to give up a life of debauchery and crime to turn his, turn to the Lord? But mm -hmm. that's not, ha you're not happy with that. So then I say, okay, now I'm meek, I'm humble, I'm literally broken, I'm coming here to you and you're saying, no, 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 you might spill our shit or you might not be the right representation. And the challenging of that, I thought, was really dope. If those bars were real, the, um, if those were really his uh, father Stu's words, I commend them. Oh, I'm sure it was. Yeah, like I thought that was dope. And I thought that <clears throat> the insistence on that was even better. And then the the conversations between the, the his father, you know, who remained agnostic yeah, or an atheist. Shout out to Mel, man. Like Mel Gibson, the smoke. Jews did that motherfucker dirty, and he's just been back ever since. Just I, like, know, I, I was gonna say he he deserved it, but no, 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 no. That rant, come on now. <laughs> Wait, what rant? Come on, Passion of the Christ. I'm gonna say he deserved that, bro. The Passion what? of the Christ rant, bro. Like the, the, the rant that he did. What rant? Google it. 
Wait, 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 wait. I thought this was over the passion of the Christ. Looks like the effects of an of a person whose woman was attacked by a pack of niggas. That's what he looks like today. Yeah. Yeah, he deserves. What are you talking that. about? Wait, like, wait, what happened? Wait, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell no, me. no, you got no. You just no, got Gibson it. never said the n word. Moving on. Um, <laughs> am I missing something? Yeah, all, buddy. I'm, all I'm saying is Google it. But um, okay. No, sure I'm, I'm, all of that is cool. But the, where the shortcomings in the movie, though? I didn't see. That's what I'm saying. Like I, oh, you didn't I see. Didn't, I didn't see anything outside of the joking of like. <clears throat> You know, church ain't gonna be an hour. Ain't no way in hell I'm leaving Shorty. Um, and like the timeline situation that Mike pointed out, but the timeline I mean, is the timeline is definitely yeah, a shortcoming. Huge, but I definitely feel as though like it, we should focus on the bars that were still being said throughout it. What about you, Zoe? You got any shorts? Uh, my shorts were already said. Um, the the timeline, like Mike said. Um, you really didn't get a clear definition on, you know, what era this was. Um, then the back and forth of the writing, that shit was like horrible. And uh, they really didn't Damn. depict that well. On, Damn. You no, know, what was what? Like, you had to really, you know, lock in. Yeah. And I had to watch this shit like maybe three times to get the full gist of the. Damn, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, outside of that, uh, I really didn't see too many other shortcomings. Um, I thought the acting and all that shit was on point, but we're going to get on that in another sec- segment. Uh, I think I changed my score. What about you, Mike? Do I have any more short- shortcomings? Yeah, any more. I mean, I could come up with some more. I mean, but they'll come out and look at me and shit. I mean, it, I I thought it was I thought it was a it decent was, movie. I thought the movie overall was decent. I thought it was written well, but I just I just kept picking out certain things that I was like, okay, that just didn't make sense. That just didn't make sense. That just didn't right, make sense. right, 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 right. And, uh, but they were so I mean, obvious that my like, biggest shortcomings was the was the timing, and. Uh, I didn't like that we spent so much time on his his pre priest life, even though he was going through the condition later on or whatever. Mm-hmm. I felt like, like Jay said, we should have spent more time in the condition. Uh, I, I think I what don't I don't feel like I got the message all the way for why he went into priesthood and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Facts. Facts. Yeah, I was just about to bring it up. I think uh, they they highlight they tried to you know glad. Uh, just just glimpse over his boxing career just to show that he had a pre condition going into this thing and then the car accident sent it over the hump and then so you uh, think the car accident caused his later condition in life or yeah i think it it was the the straw that broke the camel like it accelerated it because yeah. i felt like his body had to go because that was the whole street like at yeah. first he was doing boxing, but now this motherfucker getting ran over my car. This, gentlemen, let me ask y'all this: since you say that, because <laughs> I was kind of bouncing this around in my head uh, in reference to the movie. Is this a movie of like uh, redemption? Is this a movie of uh, you know a destiny or fate, or is this a movie of purpose? Hmm. Hmm. I think it's a a movie of perseverance um perseverance okay redemption type story yeah i I see it as uh him being told no um they didn't really give a background on the like the his pre like all of his previous life but it seems like he's the type of person that's been told you can't do this and then he he just persevere and prove everybody wrong uh but that's just me assuming um, just off of the way the father, re- the or Mel Gibson, the father was reacting and the mom uh, just always saying that she coddled him basically because of the other brother passing. And it's just small little things that they, they that they dropped in there that made me uh, pick that part up. So yeah. I think this was more so like faith leading to purpose, because I think the fact that he lost the losing of his I think it was his brother. Mm -hmm. um made him kind of like doubt god and doubt faith and have and lose that kind of situation but to then be given a second chance at life 
it immediately brings him back to that. You see what I'm saying? And so with that, it, it also gave him a sense of purpose of like, okay, you gave me a second chance. Now I'm going to devote my life to you. And it took him because nothing else for him was working. I mean, he damn near got Terry Crews in the last audition we saw, in the one audition we saw. So P.S. Terry, I'm with everybody that clowns you now. Everybody that you got the muscles for nothing. Sorry. Anyway. But Damn, man. <laughs> but um but I feel like through through God giving him that second chance, he found his purpose in serving God. And if you look at it, it was the only thing that he fully devoted to in the what the movie showed, at least. It was the only thing that he kind of really took seriously and devoted his himself into because he wasn't just a punching bag, but actually like a voice. Hey, I get it, punching bag because he did box it. That's like... So <laughs> yeah, for me, um, what was the last one you said, Mike? I know you said, I said, uh, I said is it a movie of like redemption, perseverance, like the male said, faith or uh, purpose, destiny or uh, purpose? Yeah, for me, I saw it more of a um, finding purpose, you know, um, kind of like Jay said, you know, he went through so many different uh trials and tribulations of you know just trying different things throughout his life um and i and it, i would say experience too because he endured you know what i'm saying so many downfalls you know especially with his health um while trying to find you know these different realms of purpose so it's like you know he 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 overcame so much you know while um finding himself at the at the same time and finding his purpose in life for life. So I would say uh purpose perseverance leading to purpose. Mm. Okay. Well, I mean, I, kind of, I, got, I guess you can kind of take any, any angle on it. I kind of settled with uh fate and destiny because man, for your life to turn out like this, damn, and you already be focused in the priesthood, bro, you couldn't be in the better spot. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like the dude told him in the office, like, bro, you know, you know, usually your face muscles be the last to act up. And then he told him at the end, like, basically your dick muscles will still work for life. You know what I'm saying? He's like, man, but I'm trying to be a priest, dog. Now, isn't that, like, cold cold shit, that like, some cold irony shit, bro? Like, bro, everything about isn't that some cold irony shit? Like, like, but that's different level, bro. Like the one thing I I can use, I can't use, like brethren, brethren, like. And I respect that we're trying to come on. Ain't field. nobody finna hop on it to let you. Shorty was ready to go. Shorty, Shorty was, was ready to go. Shorty wasn't gonna let you put that hand on her like that too many more times, dog. Listen, it bro, you happened. saw what <laughs> he was able to come. <laughs> <laughs> that shit wasn't gonna happen too many more times, Jay. I'm just trying to tell you, brethren. He was able to cup them cheeks, bro. Like when they were sitting on that bench at home, he like reached over and like he just got yeah, nigga, one more fist on the cheek. Like, yeah, like, he put that wrist like, on. Like, like, I'm not doing this. I'm not participating <laughs> in this shit. Like, I'm not doing bro. that. Respect the cripple. I'm just um, saying, dog, when you had them ailments, bro, the cake of ash that be on there, dog, it's a different cake. And you just can't caress that on people's skin like that, dog. It's a different. <laughs> if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. <laughs> I want to shout out Teresa Ruiz. Yeah, I we thought. Were, we were, nah, yeah, you're freaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not hiding it either. We like, know. We I'm know. Like, <laughs> listen, shout out to you, Carmen. You did a phenomenal job. I loved watching you on screen. I I thought that, like, you. Perfect you, character choice. Perfect. You know what I'm saying? Perfect character choice. I felt like you you fit the mold of a woman that could be able to lead a man through divinity to this level of divinity. Perfect. And because only with someone, let me finish, bro. I'm giving the woman her flowers. Leave, pause for a second. Because oh, only damn, a woman, can we can we only a per- flower or garden, my name. It's a fucking bouquet, my job. Right. Like, if it, it could be the botanical gardens if it wants, she deserves it all. Now hold on. Because a woman to be able for your you know what? I'm sorry. You got I, a daughter, Jay. I stop. <laughs> yeah, you married, bro. Oh um, you gonna get this bitch a botanical garden, nigga. You got a daughter, nigga. <laughs> We said we agreed we would not bring up my child on this call. We agreed. Hey, this <laughs> thing is fine, Jay. Whenever we need to rattle your ass back in that yeah, case. You got to tell you somehow, my nigga. <laughs> no, know, shout out to mind that, uh, Jackie Weaver, man. I thought the mom played. Jackie uh, Weaver, thank you. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> Kathleen Long, uh, that was the character. Jackie Weaver is the, the real person, but. 
the mom did a wonderful damn job, man. Like it was. Can I ask a question real quick? Is a poor white mom the equivalent of a black mama? Don't do that. I'm just curious. No, I'm just curious. No, Can have I... you seen their kids in public? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What the <laughs> hell, G? <laughs> That's a J take. The views and opinions that J feels is not the, tr- the <laughs> views and opinions of the True View podcast. Damn <laughs> It was a question, not a view. It was a question. I'm asking for a friend. No. And the only reason why I, I asked is just because the only no reason why means. I ask, the only reason why I ask is because my mom used to have this thing where she used to say, um, she'll blind me and turn around mind me. So it's like she's it's she'll hard. tell you the real, but she'll always be there and take care of you. And I just felt feel like is that a sign of being going through struggle or just a mom, period. But anyway, because I I loved her. I loved the mom in this. What they got to do with the poor white woman, though? I don't know, man. Because I just feel like rich no, white moms would have just trap, passed man. on. Crown them. Let, let, crown them, man. Just what right. the hell? Uh, just uh, no, I'm with you on the Weaver. Uh, I was I was I was definitely there with the with the crown, the king crown for her, for her. Mm-hmm. Uh, I put my uh the queen. Yeah, I put my queen crown on uh Matt Damon though. Mark Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> no, this nigga was Matt Damon at the end of the movie. Yeah, I knew exactly what he was doing. I knew exactly what he was doing. Oh, God. This nigga turned to Matt Damon at the end of the movie. Y'all stop playing with me, dog. Are you calling so, Matt uh, Damon fat? Like, what is happening? How many shots you firing? He said the nigga turned to Matt Damon at the end Matt of the movie. Matt Damon just did a phenomenal like a, job. It was like a duel. It was like, a du- it was like two characters for one character. You know what I'm Brendan, saying? Brendan, how many guns you got over there? Gee. Like, like you firing from all sides. Like, who's getting <laughs> shot right now? I, can't, I ended up giving my queen to Cody Fern, who played Jacob. Cody, the the priest. Yeah. No, honestly, my queen should have went to Ham, nigga. Whoever played Ham, Ham, like, yeah, the I'm black dude, on that. See, black dude. Oh. You don't even remember the character either. That's right. Two One black dude in the movie. Like what Touché. the hell? And they named him Pork. Ain't that disgusting? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. God was, damn it. No, what what they was really saying is you here for the slaughter. Zoe? Right along. Zoe? Zoe? <laughs> <laughs> you know you fucked up when me and Mel agreed that we should pass it. You know Zoe? you fucked up. What you got? Oh, that's because you niggas been colonized long ago. I already know Zoe. now. Talk, I nigga. see now. When I go my, when I go left, I know you niggas ain't coming. Y'all, 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 y'all. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> see how you see what I'm talking about? The man feel the rhythm, feel the ride. My spirit goes a left, bro. Like it's over. I think it's yeah, so just uh, shaking. It. Look I'm a crown. I'm a crown male. <laughs> what? What? Um, I respect it. Oh, okay. I respect it. And My bad. I'm a uh I'm gonna give my queen to ham too. So we're just leaving Marky Mark out of this? Like we don't we I mean that's, uh, that's a yeah, Wahlberg did his thing. Wahlberg did his thing, but you was you was really into the, the, the uh Matt Damon part of, of the character, you Damn. know what I'm saying? Like the, the beginning of Wal- the Wahlberg part, that shit was cool, but that shit was like anything. done in so many movies. Like, <laughs> I've Why seen that character before out of him. You know what I mean? So I didn't, I didn't want to throw the king on him for that. But then when it got to the Matt Damon part, Matt Damon, he didn't really lean in to the cripple, like you know, like Forrest Gump. He was kind of mm. like radio mm. almost. You know what I'm saying? Fucking hate he didn't lean in to that. <laughs> He fucking throw a haymakers, bro. <laughs> Can we move on, bro? I don't want to like be letting him. He gonna sit over there. Like I think we just need to just stop and just look at it. First of all, Jay, I love everybody. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. Say that again, Mike. No, nah, he know what it is. He love everybody. <laughs> So scared. I did want to point out the the whole backstory to this man. Uh, Mark Wahlberg was visiting a bunch of different churches, like trying to find his uh, spiritual home, as they say. And yeah, I heard this story too, man. Yeah. Different people, 
different priests and, and <laughs> they always come up to him. No, they come up to him and pitch him movies. He may have for this type of shit, man. And then uh, he just you kept on like, the bio this nigga wrote for our rap group, dog. Every this time, shit full of shit, dog. <laughs> every time. They would come up to him, man. He'd be like, "Man, this ain't the right home for me." This hey, ain't bro, the right I met I met this dude selling magic beans down it's by so the way. You want, you want to cop something for you? Got to a home where nobody pitched him a movie. He found out about Father. Steve. My cousin is a Nigerian but prince. If you if you send him twenty five grand, he'll send you a million. And bro, then, like, stop, stop, talk with me. Me. stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Talk with me. You don't think Father Stu is one of them stories he heard and he just came with this on him? I did oh, it on myself. I did it all on my own. You nah, don't think nah, that was one of them? No, stop. Nah, no, he was like, look, man, there's some money money to be made in this. Boxing? And I'm a, and I'm a Boxing the cripple? And Boxing the cripple to father? Oh, come on. I mean, because Father Stu put a whole new, like, meaning behind layout at the altar. He had to. All right, so back to the look at me real quick. <laughs> like, just off of that bullshit, right? <laughs> we gonna go off of that bullshit. I I don't know. Like again, like I tried to do some research and find the, a picture of the father. He right here. One, the, no, like Father Stu's father pops, right? Oh, father. Because that relationship, I thought, like, I love the fact that the father did not change, like. Even though his love for his kid was his child was shown more, he's like you know he ate this, right? Yeah, like <laughs> he, he still respected his stance and he still treated each other the same. I and also, think, I think I it still turned into a, uh, a competition to him. Like, oh y'all ain't gonna, oh you ain't fucking with my son, man. Fuck y'all, we finna get this motherfucker in. No, fuck that. And, I don't give a shit if it's for Jesus or not. Y'all gonna accept this shit. And. <laughs> A Dodge Ram would never break down on the side of the fucking road. That's an F-150 engine in that bitch. Stop it. I say a Dodge Ram will never break down on the side of the road. Like, like that. The alternator on that bitch. The alternate, because, yo, I lived in I lived in Opelika, Florida, and, like, they used to, the migrants used to just take 75. Right? Opelika, Florida, Chopper City. But listen to me Can't i'm telling know. you they never sounded like that that is a ford f-150 or a chevy silverado that is not a dodge that was a night that was disrespectful five that was disrespectful edition. that was disrespectful and they know it ford you out of pocket was, for doing this you that was just out of the flintstone era that truck was <laughs> <laughs> and it was still running and it was still running all four wheels still pushing Bro. I like how he just knew it was gonna go out. Like, right. Fuck it, come on, get. When the they walked in that scene. Y'all thought he was getting married, or y'all knew he was. I thought he was definitely getting married. I, I thought he was getting married. Hey, she finna get the insurance money. That's bro. the first thing I said. She finna give all <laughs> the money to the church. She gonna ride him into the afterlife, bro. Like it was. <laughs> it was. I was like, what a way to go. What a way to go. I ain't gotta do shit. I ain't gotta and talk to sit here. That was the thing too. I was like, how you wearing white? You hit. She wearing white and it's tight like that. <laughs> the bullshit. That shit was like showing her. Like whoa, 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 she's whoa. ready for it to stand whoa, 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 at attention whoa, 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 and hop on and go into the afterlife with this man. Buy him side on top of the way you want to go with it. Now you being a boy in this shit, shit, boy. Somebody get that boy a bib. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Taser deployed. <laughs> <laughs> What other look at me? What other look at me? We got. I ain't got shit, man. Yeah, I had a question before they got going. <laughs> yeah. uh, you be trying to tune that nigga out. You shut your whole brain down, man. You bro. Brain down. man. <sighs> All right, you only hear the message, my G. I'm sorry. No, oh, man. you really, you really into the priesthood, huh? You, you like oh. you, you really into the priesthood. You want to. Yeah. You know, I want to ask this question. I want to ask this question I about the priesthood. The when they went into the uh, prison, prison ministry or whatever, mm -hmm. was that guy that he saw at the bar? Was he sitting in the prison ministry too? I thought I saw him sitting there with the long hair. Um, that might have been just a. They reuse extras yeah. in when yeah, they okay, made so it been like that, that could be it. That could be. I could see that. Like he was a really good extra, and they, <laughs> they threw him a line or two, but. 
I thought so when I saw him walk in and I was like, oh, they're going to make a connection. And then when they didn't, I just figured I was wrong. Yeah, I, I did the I, same thing yeah, did. I thought I just was like, oh, I must have been mistaken. All white people don't look alike. Stop it. Um, do you, I did do you wish you would have got more of his sermons or anything like that? Him actually yes. speaking yes. to people? Absolutely. I wanted that real talk, I wanted that real talk man. Because the way he like he postured up, even though he was like limp and uh, limp noodle and shit in the prison, when he postured up in that chair, like you had to respect it because he's like, nah, this motherfucker have been here. Hey, like, look, man, y'all. That nigga Stacy getting paid, man. Who? Yeah, right? thanks for bringing him up, Joe. I had him. <laughs> This is a legendary inmate in all films, okay? This mug has been in jail for what? <laughs> been, been 25 30, years. The, entire time, so? the entirety of my life, so at least 35. Right. This so. mug is man. What I thought man. about tight casting like a motherfucker. <laughs> Brendan, did y'all notice how everybody stood up when he was like, who you gonna call your wife? Let's be real. She's fucking somebody else. Yeah. Damn, that hit everybody different. Everybody was like, <sighs> Oh, that like I felt that. Yeah. I felt that. And, and it, no, no slice to Stacy. And again, I love everybody. Oh shit! <laughs> but was uh was my man always in that in the Alpha Big group, or was he? Uh, <laughs> did he insert himself into that after playing so many of these prison roles? Well, oh, maybe they inserted it into him. Stacy real really really kill people. I. I I don't know if you know this. Like, no, I, that's what I'm saying. No slice to him. I'm asking a real question. Like, I, I don't want to. I don't want to be a part of that question. Because they say he, uh, because he, because he came out though. He came out. Like, Stacy didn't come. Stacy life. ain't gay. In real life, he came out. No, he didn't. Hey, it might be the reason why he getting all these roles. Shit. In real life, he came out. I'm telling y'all for real. Damn. Uh, I want to move on. Let's go. Let's go to the rename. Let's go. <laughs> like Jay just said, let's, uh, let's go to rename. Um, no, nah, man. I, 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 I really wish they would have gave more of his more of his sermons because that would have helped to highlight why the Catholic Church was against them so much because they are pretty much by the book, and like if you stray away. And you start cussing and you start bringing out how they are really a bunch of drunks and stuff up there <coughs> and, and all of that. Like, I, I know some things about the Catholic Church. Yeah. Hey, that's my thing, Mel. Like, 100, I, I just want to say this piece and then I got to break out. But, like, <coughs> that's my thing right there because I feel like a lot, like, all jokes aside, there's movies, there's there's messages in, in these movies. And I think a lot can be told when the gangster's the one on that pulpit. And he's genuine. He's not doing it as a joke. He's not pulling a mace. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? This is not Mason Beckford type shit. He's really about this. Betha. Betha. Whatever. Whatever that motherfucking name. Hey, uh. He's really about you it. Think Mason's a fake priest. I, Hell I yeah. Want my, that was I a joke. I want my priest to have some life in him. Yeah, but that but mace was a joke. You know mace was a hustle. Be like. Mace Why you say it's a joke? It's a joke. Like he was just trying to like come up. It was not. It's not real because I don't. So you believe, don't think? So I don't think he getting robbed by way. people who were like pimps that, that went to preachers and shit like that. You think you getting robbed by them? Not no real. No, anybody. because here's my here's my issue. Here's my issue. Right. Anybody that we know that converted to that lifestyle, X was still battling his demons. But when X prayed, bro, you felt it. X has never said a prayer that I didn't cry after. Like, and then you could call me whatever kind of sucker you want. That's a fact. Anytime I heard DMX pray, it's immediate fucking waterworks, no matter where I'm at. It's just what, because so you know God was speaking through him. When did Bishop Dan, Don Logic One like left, he left, like, he left that lifestyle a hundred percent behind. And he still, he devoted his life to God. And even in his like presentation or whatever, call it what you may, however, his Bible is colored. But the word's still there, and the way that he carries himself and speaks is still there. The shit that I have, the problem I have with Mace is that he's still coming back into the lifestyle that he condemns. And when he left to go, you know, left back like music to but go when into he the back, he don't necessarily come. He comes back, he, except for the time he dealt with your boy, and he came back as murder Mace. Not me, right? 
Right, I'm right. I'm talking about. I'm and, talking about when he was with Fifty. Right, I'm that's saying, what it means. Yeah, yeah. Every time he come back, he kind of coming back to condemn the game as well. No, he coming back because he wants money. Every issue that he has is about money. When he came at Cam, it was about money. When he came at, when he's coming at Diddy now with that fake auto tune bullshit, it's about money. I'm not here for that. Long story that's why he left. But but to but, go to the pastor for money, he told Cameron. Flat out, Cameron said this in an interview. I'm like, say what you want about Cam. Them niggas owed him money though. So you, so you, so you saying Cam to lie? Cam told said in in an Angie interview, he was like, Mace flat out told me he's like, yo, I'm gonna go do this uh, pastor shit for like that's why they fell out is because Mace was on fire at Bad Boy and he was supposed to like open the doors for Cam and them to come through. And then right when that was supposed to happen, he's like, yo, I'm gonna go do this pastor shit because there's money to be made over here. Like way more than the thing, and then he left, and that's when made some camp stop fucking with him. I can't condone the shit. Say what you want about him, but it's not a podcast about Mace. I just feel as though the messages coming from people that have made that switch is very powerful, and a lot of people could have been helped if they <coughs> kept more of it inside the film. Personally, that's just my piece on it. Um, but I gotta break out, man. Yo, know, do you think? Yes, uh, all right. Peace. Peace. Well, with that said, it is everyone's favorite game show. Rename that movie. You say I'll do that though, real quick. Damn. You agree with what that nigga said? No. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> no, it just sounds like more New York politics. Yeah, know. that's New York shit. I don't. I, I do not involve myself in the New York bullshit. I'm gonna let them have their shit. Well, I ain't gonna speak on New York. He ain't here to defend himself. But I just yeah. wanted to see you out. I was gonna I'll, say I'll, Chicago. I'll that, that, Chicago got that. enough shit. We got enough stains. Yeah, once a gangster, he's always gangster. He can't be a preacher now. now nah, you get nah, good I messages know, from. I know people. too many of them. You know yeah. What I'm saying? You get a good message out of people. Any, any, either, either way it go, if they still on some crooked shit, they still got a message, bro. It's not. There are no perfect messengers. There's only perfect messages, and you got to take the message and run, bro. Ooh, bars. I can't. I can't take the credit for that, man. That's that come out of uh, some hotel bitch. No. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. What we got? What we got for a rename? What we got? Let's see. In the words of Stewie Griffin, the board identity. Did you hear this nigga in the words of Stewie Griffin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, uh, uh, beef stew. Come on, man. Man, he was uh, some of everything. That's a beef stew. <laughs> Uh, is it not? Why you go? Come on, man. Is it not, bro? That's a good name, dog. He was some of everything. This mother was a boxer. This mother was hurt. This mother came to prove, dog. This mother was, bro. Road bump. No, no. Speed bump. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stew no. tomatoes. You call them well, no, technically a tomato is not a vegetable, so you can't, you can't. <laughs> the fruit has seeds. Okay. Uh, vegetable stew. Damn. There you, go, there you go. There you go. Come on down the lane. Clean up on aisle four. That's right. Uh-huh. Uh chop stewie. God damn it. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> That's, I think that would be it right there. Uh, uh, Come on, Zo. I know you got. Yeah, you got that, Zo. Come on, Zo. I got one brewing. I'm trying to make the dice today. 
Oh shit. Uh, oh, shit. I like that. One. I want to say some shit too about the movie. I like when they kind of got the double, triple entendres in there with the. You did. Uh, that's why that chop stewie worked. Yeah, uh, that chop stewie was hot too. Oh. Uh, uh. Damn. <laughs> this is stewed and chopped. Chopped and stewed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> chopped and stewed, stewed and chopped. Oh shit. PPP. Paraplegic priest. Motherfucker. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh man. What else? Uh, I don't uh, know, man. I think that holy shit got it. Yeah, oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah, boxing the Bible don't work. Uh, Bible thumping don't work. Bible thumping. The Bible thumping it work, but it don't. It don't. I don't think it be holy shit. Bible thumping. <laughs> I, I have that one down. But Bible thumping is kind of on the politically correct though. Yeah, you right. I like holy shit. I still or holy cow, holy shit. What? We gonna do? Nah, I'm gonna go. Holy shit. shit! Yeah, we yeah, gonna, gonna figure it out. We gonna fill it in. We gonna figure it out. We put the. <laughs> we gonna fuck with the holy shit. All right, man. Well, with that said, or or you could put a holy shit, and then you can put Bible thumping in parentheses. Or something. You know what I'm saying? Bible thumping, holy shit. That's Bible too much. Thumping, That's too much. <laughs> That's too much. We hitting them too much. You give them the haymaker. That's a combo. BTHS. Hell yeah. BTHS, man. Bible thumping, holy shit. God damn. Well, is that it? Bible thumping, holy shit? BTHS? Or is it just holy shit? I say just holy shit. Yeah, I say holy shit. Just holy shit. Holy shit it is. Well, with that said... But if they listen to this episode, they heard some good ones, though. I yeah, they that. did. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all made it this far, you already know what it is, man. That True is, you Podcast. Uh, renamed for Father Stu is Holy Shit. And the True View Podcast official score is. I know two ones, two, three. <laughs> Three. It's a three. It was a mid three. Um, no, nah, man. What's what's some what's some highlights, takeaways, recaps, recommendations? You know how how we feeling about this? Um, uh, for me, a good question. It was it was a decent watch. Um, I don't see myself going back to this though. Me personally. Um, you know, not to be insensitive to, you know, anybody out there with similar stories or similar backgrounds, but uh, it was a little too uh, watered down for my taste. Mm, there we go. I like that. No, nah, I'm in the yeah. same boat with you. Yeah. No, nah, this is definitely a one and done for me. Um, I watched it. I really, I didn't, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. I don't really see myself recommending this to anybody. Um, it was just a, it was a decent. It was just decent. That's all it was. It didn't. It's not going to stand out. It's not going to win any awards. Um, I think he was trying to bait for an award, trying to play this character, though. Yeah, yep. it's, it, yep. yeah, it's not going to work. Um, I don't even think this did enough to really sway anybody to want to come to the church. So I really, I don't know what the point of this movie was, but I mean, it had its entertaining parts. It was for him to bait for an award, like I said, bro. And and going back to the story you was trying to tell about him and how he got to this story, I don't believe that, bro. I think somebody brought this to him, but that's just me and and, and my bias on how Hollywood really works. Opinion. That would make sense though, because especially if he passed, uh, I forgot uh, how long. Is he ago. not sitting in church to the end to really talk to? Us. Right. Come on, let's be for real. Right, right. He right. in and out. He getting out of there before people is at him. 
all of that stuff, man. He probably, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he in there in the mix like that. Yeah. They well, got, you know, the, you know, the, uh, in LA, like the forum is a church. You know what I'm saying? They got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid. The Staples Center is a church when it's not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. And they, got, you. they got VIP sections I didn't I didn't been told where this is where the stars are sitting. Don't bring your raggedy ass down here. These Damn. people ain't trying to they here for their devotion, they not dealing with y'all today. You hey. know what I'm saying? All Sometimes of that you stuff. gotta do what you gotta do to keep that money coming in, you know what I'm saying? Um always. But how you feel? Recommendation, rewatch, what? Me and my community. I probably will. I probably won't rewatch it. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm kind of along the lines of what y'all say. I'm gonna use the term "watered down." Uh, that's a great term. Uh, but seeing that y'all had, you know, uh, a reference of the Catholic community, I thought y'all might have thought it would have been something to recommend. No. Uh, but I don't know. I would recommend it to people who like Wahlberg, maybe. But. No, nah, I wouldn't even that. Do that too. Man, you can't beat a Wahlberg Mac Damon connection, dog. I recommend <laughs> you. I'll tell you what you can't beat is trueviewpodcast.com where you can like, subscribe, share, comment on all things True View Podcast. Thank you guys for following and watching on the YouTube. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment, leave suggestions for movies for us to watch because we will get back at you. Again, True View Podcast, that's T-R-U-V-U-E, podcast.com, anywhere that you listen to podcasts, podcasts, podcasts. I do my own echo. Yes, sir. Damn, it seemed like you did that shit quick as hell. Hey, man, uh, I've been practicing. <laughs> big shout out to the Venti Vibes, man. You can find Venti Vibes on Instagram, Facebook, and the website. That is V-I-N-T-Y V-I-B-E-Z dot com. Get at us, man. There it is. There it go. And you already know what it is. You know what we always say. Go watch some shit. Maybe not this shit. True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. (laughs) The boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. (laughs) They really speak their truth. What the hell was that? (laughs) You're, you're, you're. (laughs) (laughs) Hee, 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 hee.